<laughs> I know. <laughs> uh, before I introduce our, our first speaker, I know that, that many of you have been watching um, and reading on the internet and in newspapers and on the radio in various places some of the trash talk that has come out following the passage of constitutional carry. First and foremost leading that trash talk has been a trade association called the New Hampshire Association of Chiefs of Police. Well, I'm, I'm going to say I got a great chief in my town and I think many of us who know our chiefs personally know that they don't share these, these extreme and absurd views. But I really thought we were past a lot of it. But I want to share with you something that was printed in uh, yesterday's Eagle Times. Does anybody buy a paper newspaper anymore? No. no. Does anybody subscribe to the Eagle Times? No. no. Well, front page of the Eagle Times says, Concealed Carry Law presents, they misspell the word challenges, presents challenges for local police, as does grammar apparently. <laughs> so it goes on, it says some things in this, in this newspaper article that if you don't know any better, if you don't do your homework, if you don't read, if you don't pay attention to things, you have no better reason to believe what you hear in the mainstream media. In particular, Newport Chief of Police Jim Burroughs says, if you carry a gun with you all the time, you get complacent with carrying. It's easy to forget the gun is on a person or in a car because it's part of your routine. Now, excuse me, are our local police complacent about carrying guns? Has anybody in this crowd ever forgotten that you have a firearm? Have you gotten complacent about carrying? Are you out of your mind, Chief Burroughs? What are you saying? He says, even with the new law, Burroughs says, any business has the right to restrict people with concealed weapons from entering their place of business. Think about that. Is he going to check you, or is he going to have a sign up? What is this man talking about? He goes down and says, talking about people who have uh, licenses to carry. He says, one area that remains of great concern is that police officers stopping vehicles on routine patrols, now listen carefully, will have no idea if that driver has a concealed weapon on his person or in the vehicle. Statute explicitly prohibits keeping a record of firearms licenses. For years we've been told by little Sean Haggerty who's no longer running the gun line at the Department of Safety, oh we don't keep a record, there's no way of knowing, we don't, we don't know who has a license here, we don't keep records. Well it seems that Chief Burroughs does, and I actually have photocopies of records of licenses that have been kept, pages and pages. So we've not been told the truth, and those of you who are in the legislature are going to have to deal with this in the next session. Now this chief goes on to say here, if stopped by local law enforcement, the best thing for the driver to do is keep his hands on the steering wheel when the officer approaches the vehicle window, let him know you're carrying a concealed weapon. Not that it's wrong, but it is prudent and better not to surprise the officer. The last thing we want to see is someone pawing over a gun to get to the vehicle registration in the glove box. He says, law-abiding citizens 
do nothing wrong. We have nothing to be concerned about. We ask responsible people to let us know when interacting with the police, he continued. It was bad enough sitting in hearings, listening to people tell us that we were anything from gun nuts to gun you know whatery from Sherry Frost. But to have police officers be so uninformed, ill-informed, or deliberately misunderstanding the law is a little concerning. And those of you in the legislature need to think about stepping up and getting these things fixed. Crook TV.